In this video, I'll be giving you a general overview of the eConestoga system to help you understand which courses you're enrolled in and how you can navigate to them. So to get started, when you're first logged in, you'll notice there are some icons along the very top. This first one, once you click it, you'll see is a drop-down where you can access any of the courses you're enrolled in. So over time, this list will get longer, and eventually you'll actually be given a search input area as well. Something that's not as obvious though, looking at this list, is that when you're enrolled in a course, you might be given one of three different roles, and each role will determine what abilities you have in that course. So the highest level role is the instructor role. You'll recognize those courses because they'll have the course code and semester and section that you know you're teaching. One level down from that is something called copy access only. With copy access, you can view the materials in the original course, but you can't make changes to them. However, the most important thing is that you can copy from that course into a shell where you are the instructor. And once you've done that copy, you're able to add and edit and delete. The final role you might be given is just the student role. And a lot of the original courses that you'll have here were just set up so that we could share information with you. So a few of the examples include copyright training and academic integrity information. Clicking on the name that you'll see on the top right, we can actually access our profile. And the first thing I'll do is actually set a profile image. This is useful because it does show up in the class list tool where some of your students may be looking to reach out to you and communicate with you. So we can go to change picture, select a picture from your computer, and you can drag and drop a JPG file or a PNG file, and save and close. You'll also see there's a list of links here just below our first row. The faculty support page is where we post a lot of our guides. Some of them are written, some of them are videos. It's driven mainly through search, so you can search based on a particular keyword, or you can search for something very specific. And to the right of that, we have some support information, so where and how to contact if you do have any technical questions about Econostoga. In particular, we've also been doing this virtual drop-in. So Monday to Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. and 2 to 4 p.m., you can join us and ask your questions about Econostoga. You don't have to schedule that in advance. During the hours where we are live, this will actually turn into the button that will allow you to join. Scrolling down, we see another way of accessing the various courses that you're enrolled in. The nice thing about this area, though, is that it is organized. You see there's a section for Current, Past, and Permanent. Within the Current Courses tab, you'll see anything for the current semester and potentially anything for the upcoming semester. As an instructor, you typically have access to this upcoming course, if you are teaching it, about a month before students will see it. And if that's the case, you'll have an overlay with the date, and that date represents the first day that students can access that shell. Anything you do between now and then isn't going to generate alerts, and they're not going to be able to see it. For current courses, you'll notice that if you're teaching multiple sections, each one will show up as its own tile, meaning that each of them will be managed separately. There is a way that you can request that those two courses be combined. It's a process called merging. In past courses, you'll see any of the course shells that either you taught in the past, or potentially a course shell that was made available to you so that you could copy from it. As you continue to teach courses on your own, those will automatically move over here into the Past Courses tab as well, and you'll never lose access to past courses or any of the content or materials in them. Looking at the Permanent Courses tab, this is where you'll find a lot of those shells that are not student-facing, Mostly what you'll see here are those courses with information for you, but there are two other things to point out here that are a bit different. Uh, one of them is this idea called a model shell. And this is basically a course shell that's been created and shared for the purposes of copying at the start of a new term. The other special course shell that you'll find is this sandbox course, and you'll see it actually has your name on it as well. That's created for you, but it's empty and there's nobody else enrolled. 
The whole idea behind the sandbox is that it's a place where you can play and practice and learn the various Econostoga tools in a place where there's no consequences if things don't go well.